Let's have a look at the engines. So Pigments introduces a couple of engines here. We have engine 1 and engine 2. Each one can be switched on and off with the on and off button, of course. And we can have them both running or maybe just one of them. And each one can be either wavetable or analog. We can also copy engine 1 to engine 2, engine 2 to engine 1, with or without the modulations. Now, let's concentrate on the analog engine at this uh, session. So, switching off the wavetable, going to engine 2, and making sure I'm on. So, I'm using the default template here, just to have everything very, very simple. But I encourage you to explore um, other presets so you can have a look and see exactly what it is that is going on under the hood. So, a few sections here. We have the tuning, we have the oscillators, we have output, noise, and modulation. The tuning section is fairly simple. So you have the cores and you can switch between... 60 to minus 60 semitones. Double clicking gets you back to zero. You have fine tuning of minus one to plus one semitones. And you have a drift. The drift is sort of uh, emulating some sort of a, some sort of a analog behavior where you're not really in tune but it can be very subtle or can be very noticeable like a i don't know maybe broken sync double click back to zero so that's the tuning but we also have a quantize button here and this is very special if you switch on the quantization here you can set specific notes locking and let's see how it works so let's assume i want to make sure that i'm always in c major key so i'm just switching off all the so-called uh, black notes here right so it, th this really looks like a keyboard and now what we have is This is just tuning locked to a specific set of notes. So let, let's try and play with one of the LFOs so you, you can um, you know, understand this better. I'll just click on the plus here and switch on one of the LFOs. And I don't even need to go all the way here. 30% is, is fine. And let's hear it. <coughs> I'll go to the LFO tab and let's just get this really slow. So you immediately can hear that we are just going through all the white keys. And I can go and just have whatever scale I would like. Very nice. And if you change the, the, the tuning here, you will have, again, the same locking, but it will be sort of a, um, another um, variant of the scale. It will be a mode. So that, that's the idea here, and I can switch it off. And I think let's just get rid of the LFO. Double click, back to zero. Clicking here, that's it. So moving on to the oscillators. So we have three oscillators. That's uh, already very, very good. Because what we can do is we can have each one of these oscillators tuned differently. And we have the tuning here. So I can have, for example, oscillator two tuned up 
on seven semitones, for example. And I'll switch the volume up. Sorry, that's the noise. So I'm actually creating chords and I can have oscillator three doing the same. Let's have oscillator three getting um, 12 semitones up. Now, each of these oscillators can be uh, locked into uh, one of these four basic waveforms. It can be can be sine, can be um, triangle, sawtooth, square. And if you if you look carefully, you'll see that the width is enabled only for for the square and for the triangle. Now, the sync button will help us lock oscillator two to oscillator one, which will help us create some very different timbers. So the tuning will be locked to uh, to oscillator one. That's uh, one option to have some different sounds here. What else? So oscillator three, as I said, it, it pretty much resembles um, the other two, only you cannot lock oscillator one to oscillator three. And um, something else, you can use oscillator three as a modulator to the other two. Let's have a look at that. So I'm, I'm pushing the amount of modulation. And when I'm changing the waveform here, you, you'll see immediately that oscillator one and oscillator two changes um, in accordance. So these are the oscillator, three of them. And next we have the noise. We can introduce a little bit of noise and it can be either red, white or blue. And the difference is that red are more the, of the lower frequencies. White is just the full spectrum and blue is the high frequencies. We can also modulate the noise, for example, going from red, white to blue. And let's use, let's say, um, LFO1. can also modulate the volume for example so let's try uh, one of the functions here that would be interesting going to the functions <laughs> nice so double clicking will just get you back to zero here. So that's it. And last, we have the output. So once we have our sound ready through the oscillators, it will go to the filters and you have a selection of either filter one or filter two or anything in between. <laughs> And that's just about it. So we covered everything in the analog engine. And next we'll explore the wavetable.